There, I agree totally with Clarence Thomas. Thomas has not been given the credit for being a very strong supporter of the First Amendment on the Supreme Court, and he's written very strongly and well about anonymous speech. When you look at the early history of the dissent among American colonists to what the George III was doing, what Parliament was doing, most of those early beginnings of what became the Constitution were written anonymously in the local presses. Um, there was a clear case where the NAACP was brought to the Supreme Court and told they had to divulge the names of their members in a certain situation. But as the court then finally realistically pointed out, what if that led to, let's say, the people whose names were given were then pilloried because of that. And uh, there are all kinds of attempts to get the names of individual members of pro bono, or pro bono organizations, whether they're conservative or, or liberal. But anonymous speech is protected speech, or it should be.